user-generated content did not necessarily kill your business overnight, so to speak. There's a relatively new standard, and brands have flocked to this. It's certainly standardized. It's well solidified and formulated since the mid-2010s. But, you know, I get it. Who would have thought user-generated content? Not, I'm gonna do the work of stringing together a team, going through casting calls, planning this big laborious project. No, I'm gonna target a loyal Sephora customer who has garnered substantial, exemplary reach on the high-caliber platforms, and I'm gonna work through the creative funds to get business for my homemade shampoo and soap. These ways of doing video business, it does put all of these roles in a melting pot where there's not necessarily an equal amount of demand from each department or role. These professional services and specialties that can be done anywhere in the world. You can be in any business up and down the chain and find outlets of contribution to media because content has been crowned the king. And in your own right, if you don't try out ideas for yourself, you might never know where it would have landed you. Tangible gains or not. What pockets you would have landed in or what circles you would have found lines of referrals and recommendations down. I saw art, film, and music grads take jobs that they thought it was going to be useful for the resume and it was a doable twist whether or not we knew it at the time but Gen Z was obligated when we were coming of age into our 20s into the 2020s. We had to be creative like unbelievable. We had to figure out how the hell are we going to reach these milestones in time? How am I going to physically make these marks so that I'm not left in squalor in mystery land? The pandemic and the shutdown just created five more pandemics and shutdowns and chaoses. In